Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to connect with the energy of this week from Monday the 27th of May right through to Sunday as we move into June. So very powerful energy. I am feeling there is this kind of portal open right now to bring in love and to move everything forward. So I'm going to bring in two powerful decks of cards. I'm going to bring in my deck, the Meshies from Heaven Guided by Angels deck and Wisdom with the Twins. So this is also going to bring in general energy, but it's also going to bring in messages about your journey with your twin flame and anything else you're going through. So we're going to connect with the energy of the week itself. I'm going to connect with the energy around Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, and the weekend, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So what do we need to know? And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what's the energy of the week straight out? And I'm pulling that card as well. What's the energy around Monday and Tuesday? The energy around Wednesday and Thursday. And a few cards coming out for the middle of the week. And the energy for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Well, so it feels like with more cards coming out in the middle of the week, there could be a few challenges as we move into June. And the angels are going to help you and assist you as you move forward. So what's the energy around the week itself, please, angels? What's the energy around the week itself? There we go. What's the energy around Monday and Tuesday? Wow, look at that flying out. Amazing. The energy around Wednesday and Thursday. The energy around Wednesday and Thursday. There it is. And the energy around the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's the card. Okay, that's the card there. Anything else? No, nope, gone back in. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So I'm going to bring these in to show you the cards. So the energy around the week itself then is celebrate your life. Now, there may be some birthdays. Okay, so if you have got your birthday and you're celebrating it, or if your person's got their birthday and they are celebrating it, happy birthday. But really what I'm being reminded to remind you of is how every day is our birthday. Every day is an opportunity to celebrate our life. And what that means is every day when we go to bed and we wake up, we are reborn. We are alive. We are being given another chance at a new day. When the dawn breaks and you know the sun rises, it's a new beginning. So celebrate your life every single day. Don't wait for a rainy day to wear those shoes or to do that thing you want to do. Live today like it's your best day because it is so celebrate your day today and every day to come like you would on your birthday you know i see birthdays as an opportunity to reset it's like we press the reset button and we start again you know we let go of what's gone it's a lot like when we go through the new year you know whether you celebrate new year at new year or for the chinese new year or any other time of the year it's like you wipe the slate clean you know, you let the past go, you start again, it's like a fresh beginning. And every day can be that way if we allow it to be. So the message is whatever's going on this week, whatever you're dealing with, whatever the circumstances, you can handle it because you are strong when you're in gratitude, when you're celebrating your life, when you're feeling good, when you remember to shine, that's what you need to know. And the angels are saying to you, I'm helping with karmic endings. So Archangel Jeremiah is bringing in some karmic endings this week. So if you're thinking, I need to end that situation I'm in, or they need to end the situation they are in, this is what's happening. So don't let any karmic situation drag you down or upset you or get into your head. Instead, be grateful and celebrate your life because Jeremiah is helping with karmic endings. And what he does is... He is the angel who nudges us in the right direction and makes sure that we're on the right path. He's also the angel that connects with legal stuff. So if you're thinking, oh, my person needs to get a divorce or I need to deal with debt or I need to deal with something or something that's legal or, you know, connected to finances or anything like that. Jeremiah is the one to assist with that because a karmic ending isn't just about a relationship. It could be releasing yourself from karmic ties financial struggles, you know, stress, legal things, property, anything that you need to let go of, now is the time. And Archangel Sandalfin is also assisting with music. So what he's saying to us, make sure this week that you are listening to the songs that come to you. You are receiving messages this week in music. 
whether that's coming directly from heaven about something you need to know or be aware of, or even divinely guided inspiration or action steps you're guided to take, or your person is communicating with you in that way, it's so important that you're aware of what you are hearing. So you may even go through an ear chakra activation where you feel your ears shifting or ringing or you get downloads coming in or you may feel like you go deaf in one ear or you get some irritation because your ear chakras are aligning so you hear the right messages at the right time. And it's very likely this week you're going to be receiving those messages through music. You may even hear a song that helps you celebrate your life. So maybe you go out dancing or you go out to a concert or you do something that uplifts your energy and it reminds you through music to celebrate your life. Or there may be a specific artist you listen to that you can celebrate their life. Maybe someone passes away this week who's an artist who you, you know, you know or someone who's very famous who you can listen to their music to celebrate their life. Or maybe you're listening to music of a certain artist who's passed who you can celebrate their life through that. So remember, we also celebrate our life by doing things like singing for God, going to church, that kind of thing. So it's whatever works for you, how you can celebrate your life. Now, Monday and Tuesday, plant power. So what I'm connecting with you, first of all, is plant your power. Put a seed in the ground this week and know it's manifesting because, and I saw this card when it jumped out, manifesting. Look how powerful this is. So Monday and Tuesday is a perfect time at the start of a new week to set a new seed, to plant an intention, to step into your day with power, to know that you are manifesting your dreams, to believe, to have faith, and then you receive. So whenever you are wanting, you can plant that intention. There's like a little seed that will grow into what you desire. And if you start seeing 777 or eagles, especially eagles in flight, that's a huge sign your manifestation is on the way. Now, an eagle in flight is also a huge sign that your divine masculine or your person is on their way. And if that's what you're manifesting, that's what you're creating. But I feel this is also about things you are wanting, things you're intending, things you want to do in your life. These things are growing right now from a little seed into a mighty acorn. So remember that power. Things take time to grow. Have faith and patience. And you may even want to get some plants in the house because they bring in power. You know, they bring in manifesting abilities. They bring in oxygen and they help you to feel good. You know, I've got a gorgeous plant over there that's growing beautifully. So manifesting. Maybe you want to get some pictures of eagles in the house because they bring in manifesting power. But I definitely feel you've been shown Monday and Tuesday that the seeds you are setting now, the intentions you start out with this week are going to manifest. And Archangel Azrael is saying you'll be okay. Azrael is the angel of comfort. So if you're going through something that's hurting your heart or if you're missing your person or if you've lost a loved one or if you're going through something painful, you'll be okay because the seed is within you to create magnificent things. You are powerful. You are strong. You can work on what you're doing now we've got lots of cards coming out for wednesday and thursday so the energy is wisdom so i feel you're gaining wisdom wednesday and thursday there's lessons you are learning and there's wisdom you are gaining so you're gaining an understanding of where you are and why you're going through certain things and that's why you've got so many angel cards so first of all whatever's happening wednesday and thursday archangel uriel is illuminating you so you open your mind so you look at things in a higher way. So you're able to observe the journey instead of just being in the journey. Because remember, what you're going through grows you. What you go through, you grow from. So you're becoming stronger. You've been illuminated to open your mind, to see the bigger picture, to take a step back, to zoom out, to zoom in. Archangel Ariel, the angel of material things, money, abundance, is saying God is your source. So if you go through any stress or struggle regarding your material world or your physical reality or your physical circumstances, remember God is your source. So no matter what's going on outside of you, you can connect inside of you. And that's where the power is, because everything you will ever need is provided to you from self and source. And we learn that on this journey. That's why we lose people, lose things, change things so we can reconnect with God, with our source. 
So whatever's going on, you can handle it. And I feel you're gaining that wisdom this week. You know, Wednesday and Thursday, you're gaining wisdom that whenever you desire, it's provided for you by God, not your job or your paycheck or by anybody else. You ask for it and you believe in it and you'll receive it wherever it comes from. We've got Archangel Azrael saying, I'm helping you to connect. So he's helping you to connect with your loved ones in heaven, to connect with your angels and your spirit guides, to connect with your higher self, your intuition, to connect with your twin flame on the astral realms, to remember how loved you are and how safe you are. And Archangel Raphael, see a Satan, there's the card, the healing angel is saying you are safe. So if you're going through anything physically, you're also being reminded that you are safe physically. You are healed. You are healed in spiritual truth. So you're gaining wisdom as to why you may be experiencing ascension or physical things or anything else you're going through. And Archangel Metatron, the angel of divine timing, is saying trust in the power of divine timing in your life. It's making you wiser, stronger, giving you tools and support for your mission and purpose. So Wednesday and Thursday, whatever you're going through, you can handle it and you will. And the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, as we move into June, let it go. Now, I love this. Look at this. You're holding on to this balloon this week and obviously celebrating life. And then you're able to let go of the balloon. You know, when I took this photo, this was the balloon rising up. So let go of any stress or struggle. Things are happening for a reason. So Wednesday and Thursday, whatever the struggle is, by the weekend, you've let it go. You've given it to heaven. You've surrendered it. So you may even let go by going out doing things. Maybe, as I said, dancing or going out with friends or enjoying yourself. So by the weekend, you are letting things go. And that's helping you to love life. So Archangel Jophiel, who is the beauty angel, is helping you to love your life. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're going to feel like you're loving your life more. You're going to be, and that's because you started with gratitude, celebrating your life Monday and Tuesday. So when you're setting those seeds of gratitude, it makes everything better and things manifest quickly for you. So I feel by the weekends, you're going to be loving life and you're going to be letting things go and allowing things to flow. And that's what you need to know. But ultimately, you're manifesting your dreams and desires. And the universe is showing you that through 777, eagles in flight, and all the other things that you see. Have a great week. I'm sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.